Hi guys, Boiler Room here. So, this video I'm uh, going to show you the War Priest Challenge. I realise it's the only one I haven't done yet, so I thought I'd get this up for you. It's not a particularly great run, but it's a run, so <laughs> here we go. The way the War Priest Challenge works is that uh, when you stand on the plates in the correct order, the final person is given a brand. Now, each person that holds the aura can only hold it once. So the person who gets it on the first run, they can never have it again. So it has to be a different person each time, which I guess limits you to a maximum of six runs. Now we do it in two, but we do actually have three aura holders in here because unfortunately one player lags out as he gets the aura. I hope you'll see what I mean as the video goes on. See where I'm standing up here on these, this rock? Uh, if you have a particularly low light level character come in, this is a handy spot to stand because you can't actually get hurt by anything standing up here unless a wizard or something happens to drop down from above you, uh, from behind you. But uh, you can stand up on this rock, the thrall can't hit you, the knights can't hit you, and you can just pick them off as they come out. clear out these ads and then eventually after the second night spawns you can hear that noise right there and that's the hallowed night grunting just before he comes out and away we go all three plates have a hallowed night and I'm calling so it's left side then middle and then obviously right side by process of elimination. So someone on the right side plate caught the aura and now our job is just to make sure we're in the aura and knock his head off. And we found in this run actually, we'd, I'd never tried it before but in this particular run, uh, we're all spindling away. Uh, you can see someone there with a machine gun firing doing damage. But we're all spindling away and then some we're just right here. <laughs> One of them starts firing rockets and oh my goodness I did not realise how much damage those rockets would do to him. So I thought we'd try that again in another run but we uh, we haven't actually got around to doing that yet but I'm interested to see what rockets would cost the bombs at a good light level would uh, realistically do to him. So, so that was the first run. We got his got him down fairly low. Run back over, see this rock here? You just jump up onto that rock there. There's a little ledge on the front. And you can just sit there, pick off all the ads. If you're not familiar with War Priest, uh, on the two side plates, left and right, uh, wizards come out on the sides after, I think that's the second wave of ads that, that spawn. Uh, you have a knight that initially spawns, and on all three, uh, comes out. Kill that knight, a few acolytes uh, come out on the sides, and uh, you've also got the thrall that come out, as you can see down in the middle here. Then you have some wizards that come out with acolytes in the depths, and then, um, Often another night, and eventually you hear the grunt of the hallowed knights, and then they spawn. But this guy didn't want to come out because we threw those vortex grenades at the door. Knocked him down nice and quick. So when you kill all three hallowed knights, the glyph sequence starts. And again, I'm calling, so I sit at the front and. I think I was going to go up and give those guys a hand on the right side there, but I'm calling and okay, it's right side, then left side, and then again by process of elimination, middle. So if you're ever calling, you can sit at the front there, or you can go far right and have a look, and 
uh, those little totemy looking um, tombstone style poles. Now, the guy that caught the aura there unfortunately lagged out as he got the aura, so we've had to reset. Fortunately, um, yeah, I've just caught the aura. Fortunately, we've got a good enough team that we were able to get away with that. And you can see the brand of the initiate, it counts down, you get five runs. What you want to try to do is kill an ad as close to zero as you can to reset the timer for the next run. Each time it counts down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, if you don't manage to do that, you will die and someone else will get the brand. In the War Priest Challenge, it is okay for you to die with the brand as long as whoever gets the brand next hasn't had it before. That's the key. The key criteria is that uh, you never hold the brand twice. Now, I'm just clearing out some engrams because as most people probably know my postmaster is always full and so I just need to clear some space. But the object here in the War Priest Challenge is uh, you only ever hold the brand once if you've got it. Uh, Kill an ad is close to zero to give your timer, uh, give your teammates as much time as possible to damage the war priest. And if you're on, uh, if you're not holding the aura, uh, a tether and weapons of light is always great. So if you've got at least one hunter, preferably two, and uh, a titan with weapons running, uh, a bubble just behind the aura works beautifully. You'll knock him down, and by the look of things, rockets with cluster bombs apparently seem to do really well. Anyway, that's the War Priest Challenge. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.